Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad, and for today's video, we're gonna show you how we select our breeders for breeding our own uh, tilapia fingerlings. So here we have our isolation hapa. So in our isolation hapa, we have uh, clay pots inside. So this is an example of our clay pot. So this will be the house of our breeders. This will be the nest. So they can roost and take care of their eggs and now we will select our breeder so here we have uh, a few tilapias so let me catch one for you this is a big one let's catch one only one Oops, there, there are there you go. Oops. I catch them in a small there you go so um, I'm gonna teach you a very simple method to find the sex of your tilapia so this is a mature tilapia we have here so be careful of the fins or the spikes because they're very spiky so so for this test we are gonna use a dye solution so this is food coloring with a q-tip and then we will apply on the genitals of our tilapia so by applying dye you will see the lines of the genitals of our tilapia so this is a v-shaped line and with a single hole over here so this is a male tilapia males also have a big mouth so this is a male so it has a big mouth so that's also one indicator. So our ratio is one male to three females. So we have one male over there. Let's now select a female. Let's try to catch a female here. Let's see if this is a female. This is a big one, maybe a kilo. So get our dye solution over here. So here, this is a female. Because it's a U-shaped genital, a hole here, and we have another hole there. So that's a line. So that's the female uh, genital. So one, two. So that you have a line there. So that's female. So one female. And then let's catch another one. Let's see if this what this one is. This is a big one. Woo! A big, very big one. Uh, let's catch this one. Oops. Again, you use a dye. So one hole and then a V-shape genital and no holes. So one hole and a V-shape is a male. So this one we put outside the hapa. So this is outside the hapa net, so it's outside the hapa. Okay. Then we find another female. Let's see if uh, we can find another female here. Let's test our luck. This is a female. So again, our dye test. So we have a hole and then a V-shape and no hole there, no line. So this is a male. So again, we get rid of the male and it's placed outside the hapa. There you go, it's outside the hapa. Now let's see if I can catch another female. Oops. So I think this is also a male. Let's see. Wait. So there you go. That's a hole and another hole there. That's the hole there and a, a u-shape genital so this is a female so you can see the hole the line there that's a female and then that's the hole another hole there but that's two that's a female we'll put it inside our hapa okay let's see let's find another one so the ratio is one is to three you can increase it to one is to five if you want For this purpose or this video, we're only using one is two three. Okay. 
So there. So this is a V-shape genital, no holes, and one hole here. So this is a male. So again, we put outside the hapa. Okay. And last, let's see if uh, this is a female. Okay, here, so one hole and another one hole there and a U-shape, so this is a female. So we place inside our hapa. So we wait for them to, we wait for the females to produce egg and for the males to fertilize the egg and then after a few days uh, we will catch the eggs or we'll, we will separate the eggs from the mouth of the female and put it in our tumbler so our tumbler is over here so we'll make another video of our, of our tumbler in the next uh, in the next video so stay tuned and subscribe so the tumbler we can adjust the tumble of the eggs by this valve so let's adjust it and see if the eggs will move so that's a tumbler and then the fry or the the hatch eggs will exit here okay and then the fry will stay here so those those are the little fry okay so there you have it uh, selecting your male and female tilapia and putting it in the breeding pond for egg collection and hatching of our fry thank you for watching